What's up YouTube? How goes it? So several months ago you may remember I actually did a review of Magback's new iPhone 12 and 12 Pro series case. And a lot of you guys really liked that case and it was a pretty popular one. However, one of the biggest critiques I heard about that case is the fact that it did not have MagSafe compatibility. And I'm sure the MagBag team got that feedback as well. Well, a couple of weeks back, they reached out to me and said, hey, we have a revised version for our cases and it's MagSafe compatible. Would you like to review it? And that brought joy to my heart because honestly, I thought that was the one little element missing from that case. And today we're doing a power review of the new and improved MagBag case with MagSafe compatibility to see what's changed and what's improved and of course also go through a couple of other goodies towards the later end of the video as always if you guys enjoyed this review hit that like button subscribe to my channel thanks for watching let's get started in terms of design not a whole lot has changed since the initial review i did of the macback case you still have more or less the exact same color and design however the fit is definitely more refined it's more tight and your lips are more evenly balanced out on the front side you still have the protruding edges on all corners is for better shock protection. You still have the tactile buttons, which honestly feel great and premium. On the back side, of course, you have the MagBack logo, and more or less, it looks exactly the same as the last generation. The biggest change, which I mentioned earlier in the video, is the fact that you have full-scale MagSafe compatibility for the new version of the MagBack case. So just for some context, here we have the older or previous iteration of the MagBack case for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. And when you put magnet paper, you can see that you cannot see a circular pattern because you could only use it with MagBack's own proprietary magnet system. But the new iteration, as you can see, has this new circular pattern in the center area, which of course represents the MagSafe function functionality and to make things even more interesting MacBack claims that you actually have a stronger magnet than Apple's own MagSafe technology which means technically you'll have a stronger MagSafe connection with third party and first party accessories and just for some additional context here is the Apple silicon case itself and you can see you only have that circular pattern which of course again represents the MagSafe functionality so with MacBack now you can use MacBack's own proprietary technology or Apple's MagSafe compatible technology it's really a win-win of course, I still want to see if the MagBack cases actually work with MagSafe compatible products. So I did the obvious thing. I took the Apple leather wallet with MagSafe and I stuck it right onto the MagBack case and it aligned perfectly. Now, just a bit of a, you know, claimer. It still used to align with the old MagBack case, but never centered and well aligned you know it would just be always on the corner one side or another and now it aligns just like any MagSafe compatible case should do also if you are wondering believe it or not the connection or the magnetic connection of Apple's wallet with the MacBook case is actually considerably stronger than that with Apple's own silicon case so you're actually getting a more refined MagSafe product over here which again is a welcome change also just a FYI MagPack has also updated their wallet to now support MagSafe functionality as well, which means you can actually use the new MagBack wallet with any MagSafe compatible case, which is a great addition, of course. Now, one of the things worth noting is that MagBack does still recommend using the MagBack wallet with their MagBack case for the strongest possible magnetic connection. Because let's be honest, MagBack's magnets are definitely a tier above the one you find on Apple's case and a lot of other cases for that matter. But overall, you now have that standard customization available. Also, if you haven't already, you can actually check out my review of the MagBack wallet versus the Apple leather wallet. I'll leave a link in the video description below. I go through all the features and functionality. In terms of aesthetics and functionality, not a whole lot has changed since then. So that video holds up just fine in case you're interested. Now, one thing I will say about the MagBack cases is that they are a bit of a fingerprint magnet, especially if you have oily fingers like I do, you'll definitely notice the fingerprint residue that often stays on the back of the case. Now, a single swipe from a microfiber cloth takes care of this usually, but if you do have an OCD for a perfectly clean phone case you may find that fingerprint magnet stuff to be a little bit annoying but i guess you could say that the magnetic connection is so strong that even fingerprints can't resist the macback case by the way guys, keep in mind that if you are buying any of MagBack's accessories, you can use their promo code in the video description below to get a discount on your purchases and of course also help me in the process. Keep in mind that MagBack sells a ton of phone accessories. Some ones worth mentioning in this video include the 20 watt USB-C charger brick that you can buy, also a 30 watt car charger brick in case you want fast charging in your car. Furthermore, they also have a wireless charger which is compatible with the MagBack 
backpack case. At the time of this video, it doesn't have MagSafe support, unfortunately, but it's still a very powerful tool if you have MagBack's own case. And it comes with the Mag Stick, which you can attach on almost any surface thanks to the 3M adhesive they include with it. So keep those things in mind and be sure to use their promo code to get yourself a nice discount. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep in mind, I have done full reviews on all the products I mentioned in this video earlier on. If you're interested, again, links are in the video description below. Check those out. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to my channel for all sorts of awesome phone-related, technology-related, laptop-related content. I'm always doing my best to provide quality stuff for you guys. Catch you in the next one. Take care.